Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. And again, a big shout out to Aries. You guys are so amazing. You guys keep going head to head with Taurus and they only beat you by just a little bit. But, um, you know, you guys came in second. So again, you guys are being uploaded. One of the soon or the quickest videos coming up. Um, thank you guys very much. For those of you guys that are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. Anything to do with spell work, um, candle magic, etc. Look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there for private readings, whatever it may be. For those of you guys that recently have been got it or have gotten uh, readings from me, I thank you guys uh, very much for the support and for entrusting in me and guiding you towards a, uh, towards an answer. So thank you guys very much. Also, um, what else did I want to say? I, I want to apologize for my voice. If it'll, you know, it sounds scratchier than normal. So if it comes and goes, I apologize. It's been an extremely long day. Um, so I'm kind of losing my voice in a way. Um, anyways, uh, what else did I want to say? Also, I want to give a big shout out to Diane Morosco. She's a published author. You can find her books on Amazon. I not only admire this woman, she's just amazing, a very, very gifted writer, but she's also one of my private clients and um, VIP clients, I should say. I love all my clients the same, but VIPs are the ones that come to me for, you know, major uh, life choices. Um, and again, I could never thank you guys enough for entrusting in me and, you know, really, you uh, truly humbles me to all the love and the support you guys give and she gifted me this for halloween it says bruja which in english means witch i i just love it it's beautiful thank you very much sweetheart you guys can find her books on amazon like i said her name is diane morosco so let's get into this reading uh again thank you guys very very much for the comments do not forget to comment share like the videos uh every month even the mid month, I'm going to be uploading the videos with the most views or the most comments. So again, like I said, you Aries and Taurus have been head to head uh, the past two months. So uh, congratulations on that. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of November 2017. Spirit, what are the messages for Aries for the month of November 2017? Spirit, what are the messages for Aries for the month of November 2017. All right, let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. So your general energy is the Six of Cups. Six of Cups could have to do with, uh, for the month of November, uh, if you guys have children, children is going to be very important for you guys. It could be um, issues in regards to uh, school. It could be, um, you know, it could mean a multitude of things, but at the present time, I'm sensing that it's going to have to do with children. So again, like you guys, like I said, if you guys are or have uh, children, that are in their teen years, uh, perhaps, um, or those of you guys that have children that are going off to college, uh, definitely your children are going to be taking priority for this month for sure. So let's get into this reading. Now, for those of you guys that don't have children, the Six of Cups could be also a representation of the past coming back into your life, or it could be you having a lot of nostalgia and dealing with things that have happened or correlated from the past okay so let's get into your reading the first card is the three of wands the knight of swords the seven of wands the two of wands the seven of cups the hierophant the queen of wands the five of cups the queen of swords the queen of swords um the hermit the two of swords the queen of cups I'm not sure if I said Queen of Cups. You have two queens here. So Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. The Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. So, like I said, Six of Cups having to do with nostalgia, the past, and children. Now let's get into your reading. The first thing that I do see that is coming in your near future, this has not happened as of yet, 
time is fluid so for some of you guys perhaps you guys are going through that right now but anyways what is getting my attention very very strongly is you have the tower here and you have the judgment card so with the judgment and the tower you guys are going to have to deal with what's coming towards you in the near future is something that has to do with the past it could be a lover a person from your past or it could be explosive news that basically catches you off guard you were definitely not expecting this and again like i said judgment has everything to do with um if you guys are in a long-term relationship or have been in a long-term committed relationship it could be the fact that you find out someone's been cheating on you i'm going to keep it 100 percent, okay and and be honest with you guys the reason i say that is because what's crowning it is the three of swords right here and the two of swords okay so what this means is again like i said third party energy and cheating so let's get from the beginning you have the three of wands here next to the knight of swords so what this is telling me is that at the present time in the now you're looking towards growing and expansion but you're feeling at the present time like things just keep coming up things that are left undone for a lot of you guys it could be that you finally have enough money to uh put aside to save for something or vacation or something that you're planning and the car breaks down uh you finally get the job you were hoping for and you know uh you think everything is set and again you get a flat tire S that type of energy is what i'm sensing because you do have the seven of wands here and the seven of wands is feeling almost like universe is fighting and you're fighting against the universe at the present time now for some of you guys obviously this has to do with partnerships uh as the two of wands is here so for some of you guys you feel that you're usually attacked um by your partner your partner's not understanding you or they're not seeing things very clearly they're very quick to judge you very judgmental at the present time and with the two of wands here next to the seven of cups this is telling me that at the present time, it could be you or your partner, it is a general reading, but th there's scattered energy, like one is not putting effort. It could be you, Aries, or it could be your partner at the present time. It's like they're looking towards something else. Obviously, there is third party energy down here. So it, that could be the reason why. And again, like I said, throughout the middle, uh, throughout the month of November, the beginning, uh, you may be dealing with this may be the first line may be residue energy from October. So again, if you guys have been feeling like, you know, something is off with your partner or they're not putting effort or they're becoming very selfish, um, et cetera, or the, if this is you, Aries, as well, your partner's going to start to pick up on that. Now, the Hierophant here next to the Queen of Wands, this is... Um, this could be a Virgo that you're dealing with, sorry, a Taurus that you're dealing with, or an, another air sign, sorry, another fire sign, which would be a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Again, for those of you guys that are currently married, uh, this could be your partner being symbolized with a higher font um, as commitment, a long-term commitment, uh, sorry, not religion, but a long-term commitment or marriage. And again, the five of wands here, there's a mourning of this relationship for some of you guys it already happened the separation already happened as I said time is fluid so for some of you guys you guys are currently dealing with the loss of the partner or having to make a choice and that's literally what's breaking you like what's breaking and pulling on your heartstrings is the fact of you knowing that it's coming to an end and you don't want to make a movement you don't want to make a choice or you don't want to be the one to say, you know what, this is not working out. It's time we go our separate ways. Now, there is a Queen of Swords here, and the Queen of Swords is a person, this could be your partner as well, um, or, or the energies of your partner, which the Queen of, um, wa sorry, the Queen of Swords could be a representation of an air sign, which would be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Doesn't have to be their sun, moon, or rising. It could be just taking on the qualities of the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is definitely a person that is not going to be dealing with any bullshit. Uh, they've had it. They're no longer going to deal with it. They're not going to be... Um, it's, it's like they're cutting through... To me, when the Queen of Swords comes out in a love reading, as obviously this is a love reading, I know it's a general reading, but obviously uh, relationships are going to play out a very important role for the month of November 
for you Aries um, but when the Queen of Swords comes out it's almost like there's gonna be a decision made and they're gonna cut to or cut through the bullshit uh, to be able to make that decision so again this could be you Aries or it could be the partner that you're dealing with at the present time now under the Hierophant is the Hermit card so these two cards could be a representation of uh, finding or going within yourself to find the answers that you're looking for it's kind of like your intuition or tapping into your intuition or you knowing that something is often this is no longer working it's time to make a choice are you going to continue um, being in a relationship that you're no longer happy in where it's becoming or making you become almost a hermit like you don't want to socialize you don't want to go out um, or are you going to step up and decide, you know what, this is my life and I'm not going to wait for other people to make a choice. I'm walking away from this because I'm almost sensing with the hermit and uh, the hierophant. It's almost like I'm waiting for them to like file for divorce or I'm waiting for them to make up their mind if they want to continue this relationship or not. It's like you want to put the blame on them of why the relationship didn't work, which obviously if there's cheating involved, it is their fault, right? But to me, it's more like you're doing that more so on what other people may say because the Queen of Wands is here and the Queen of Swords. Every time I get more than two queens, it's definitely rumors. It's definitely people that are being nosy or all up in your business. And the Queen of Cups is down here. So again, you have three, three queens in this reading. So there's definitely people looking towards you or knowing that something is off in your relationship and you're worried about what they may say, what they may opinionate or what they may um, make you seem like so maybe that's something that you're worried for those of you guys that have children perhaps that's the reason why you've been held, holding on this long to this relationship doesn't necessarily mean um, for some of you guys you guys have have not been with this partner for quite a while but it's like you guys have some type of agreement it could be that you guys are living in the same house it could be that um, you guys are it, like there's an agreement there's an understanding but at the end of the day you need to cut the cord you need to walk away from that it's not serving you any good the two of uh, swords here is like you not wanting to make that choice not wanting to make the move of deciding to move forward and release yourself from what no longer serves you the queen of cups here could be a representation of a water sign so it would be a scorpio pisces or cancer and the queen of cups i feel that this is more your energy aries like perhaps you're feeling very sentimental very nostalgic with the six of cups here um, feeling like, you know, I've put so much effort, I'm not willing to give up, I'm not willing to walk away from this, but it's like you have new opportunities coming your way here with the Ace of Wands, but you're not wanting to see those new opportunities. You're not wanting to give the time of day to people that are genuinely interested in you because you're so fixated in this relationship. Now, I do want to mention very clearly, I do not see love in this relationship. Okay, there's no love cards here. But I know off the bat that it has to do with relationships because there's more than two queens. Because you have the tower and the judgment card here and you have the two up here. So that is an inclination of relationship. But the reason why I'm, I'm getting that, putting focus on the fact that there's no love in this relationship is because you have the three here. You have the seven of wands there. So that's telling me that the, because these are wands energies, it's like responsibilities. It's responsibilities, and that's the reason why you guys have been keeping it together, quote unquote. But there's definitely a disillusion of this marriage or this relationship based on the fact that either rumors come out that you're cheating or that they're cheating on you. Okay? Now, the Three of Swords is up here crowning this, this uh, tower and this judgment. So it's like you were definitely not expecting this or... Your partner was definitely not expecting this, even though it hasn't been working out for quite a while. Now, under it is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is, again, feeling stuck, feeling fearful of what may come, feeling like you have no control over the situation. This could be also a representation of embarrassment, uh, that people find out that they were cheating on you, and you feel like you've been not only betrayed, but almost like an aggressive type of energy like you know they're they're judging me and and i'm looking like a fool basically um this is anxiety and fear based on the dissolution and the ending 
of what no longer serves you anymore. Now you do have the six of wands here. Now, if you guys are currently not dealing with the water sign, it could be a water sign coming in. And I feel that uh, this person, you may meet them at work or where you work at, or you may meet them while they're working. Uh, but this is definitely a new beginning. And the reason I say that is because the ace is here in the same line and the ace is a new beginning. So I know this uh, reading seemed all over the place. I hope it makes sense to you guys. Um, again, comment, like, and share. If you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. And again, like I said, um, just know and understand that even though things may be difficult um, or if you're experiencing recently a betrayal, know and understand that at the end of the day, whatever it is that your partner decides to do on their behalf has nothing to do with you and it's not a reflection of you or the lack of what you have to give. It has to do with their issues and what they have to learn in life understand that light and blessings to you guys and i wish you guys the very best we will see or speak uh, speak to each other in the middle of the month blessings